Guys, be sure to check out my previous pool setup video, but I've gotten a lot of questions about how to set this thing up with poles in particular and the last pole. So I want to do a follow up and if you have trouble with the last pole getting inserted, if it's too tight or doesn't quite fit, check out some of the comments I left responding to people on how to do that. But the best way to do is uh, leave these pins out on the last couple of sections here. And then what you can do is you just take this and you shove this pole inside the sleeve of this further past where this hole is. So what you're doing is you're essentially just compressing this in like that on this T on this T bracket right here. So instead of the hole lining up here, the hole on this pole is going to be like pretty much in here. And that will allow you to get the final section inserted from end to end on the last piece. And then once you get it inserted, you just kind of take your hands and spread these two apart. So just to show the point that I'm trying to make, you see that hole there? Yes, you. Goes in and out. Let's pretend this is the last pole. You'll shove this that direction. And then you'll get your other end in, and then once it's set, you can pull it back out, and then they'll line up to get your pins in. Got a broken one there. Make sure that the bottom hole is lined up with the top hole, so you have to make sure that you insert the pole here, so that way the hole is facing straight up. Put your pin in. And don't worry if it sticks a little bit, if you can get it down like that. You might have to take a mallet, just get a rubber mallet and just give it a quick tap and you're good to go. And then we just want to make sure that the retention band is straight and not twisted. And the pole is on the inside. Final step, I just like to give this a tug on each side as I walk around the pool to make sure that there is even space and that this isn't super tight in one section so if it's got a little bit of flexibility as a film that's good. So we'll make sure that it's pulled. We'll just tug at the corner like this and move it one way or another just to make sure it's even all the way around. It's a little tight but be okay. A tug from this direction. Just a hair sometimes is all it needs. Because when it fills out, it's going to push against the sides and make it really tight. That's good. So after setting this up a couple times, it's best to just put these in every other, roughly. So I left a couple holes, I gotta go back and fill in. As we're doing that, we're gonna walk around. We're filling it up a little bit. We got about a couple inches of water there. And so it's got a little weight, so it moves a little bit better. And it should stay when you move the feet around. But we're just gonna make sure that these are straight. So some of these are gonna be bent inward when you first get it all set up. So you just want to make sure that they're nice and 90 degrees. We'll go through and we'll just make sure that they're all straight and we have to move some back. We can. Like over here, this one kind of got shuffled a little bit from the year prior. So I took a shovel and I just dug a little bit of dirt out here just to make sure that this is flatter on this side. And then I just gave this a quick shove just to make sure it's perfectly flat. And that's for safety, so we don't want the walls collapsing. It's going to be 90 degrees for each of these poles, or as close as possible. So if you guys like this video, if you got questions, leave a comment below. Hopefully this helps answer some questions. I'll be doing more pool videos this summer, so be sure to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. And then every once in a while, as it's filling up more, everything tends to shift, so just take a walk around it every... 30 minutes or so when it's first filling just to make sure everything's still straight and where you want it.